your question is find the equation of the set of point p the sum of whose distance from a 4 comma 0 comma 0 and b minus 4 comma 0 comma 0 is equal to 10 what he has told suppose we have, we will take this as a this as b these are the two points this is your a and this is your b now what he has told there is a point p this is the point p and here it contains the distance that is your ap and this distance is your bp what he has told the distance if you sum this distance you will get the value as 10 now we will write the first the coordinates so a is what 4 comma 0 comma 0 and b is minus 4 comma 0 comma 0 and the coordinates of p is x comma y comma z x comma y comma z now we will write first we will write the distance formula that is your root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square it comes under square root so first we will find out ap ap is equal to what you can see here 4 minus x that we will write 4 minus x whole square plus 0 minus y 0 minus y whole square plus 0 minus z whole square now we will write what bp bp is equal to root under same minus 4 minus x minus 4 minus x whole square plus 0 minus y whole square plus 0 minus z whole square what they have told just we will write in this form ap plus bp that means this plus this that gives you tan so we will write that only that is your root under 4 minus x whole square plus minus y square is y square plus minus z square is z square that is equal to sorry not equal to plus this minus 4 minus x whole square plus y square plus z square that is equal to 10 now what we will do just we will bring this to this side otherwise you will get confused so now in left side you will get this that is your root under 4 minus x whole square plus y square plus z square. that is equal to 10 minus this value root under minus 4 minus x whole square plus y square plus z square now we go for a squaring both sides what we will get here you will get the square root will go out you will get only the value what is that 4 minus x whole square that is your 16 plus x square minus 8x plus y square 
plus z square. And now on right side, you will see tan minus this. That means a minus b whole square. So a square is what? Tan is 100. This is minus. That means it will become a plus and this will go out. Plus, here you will see minus 4 minus a. That means it is equal to a plus b whole square. That is equal to 16 plus x square plus 8x plus y square plus z square. Now minus 2ab minus 2ab is also here. That we will write here. Minus 2 into 10 is 20 a then this is your b. That is your what? root under minus 4 minus x whole square plus y square plus z square. Now, bring this to left side and try to rearrange. Or you can directly go for, if you have the same value at left and right, you can directly cut. So you can see here, x square is here, x square is here. y square is here, y square is here z square is here, z square is here. So now here you will get what? Minus 8x and plus 16. 16 will also go here. 16 and 16. That means it will go. Now bring these two values here. That is your 100 means minus 100. And here it is plus 8x is minus 8x. That is equal to this value. Minus 20 root over minus 4 minus x whole square plus y square plus z square. Now solve this you will get minus 16x minus 100. That is equal to the this value. Hmm? Okay. Now we will go for a squaring both sides. Again. Squaring both sides. That means you have to square this. This and this. What we will get? You can see here minus 16x minus 100x. Here also minus is there. You can directly cut that. So that is in the form of a plus b whole square. Now you will get 16x. That means square of 16 is what? So we will just go for that. 16 into 16 is 36, 3, 9, 6, 1. 256. So you will write here 256 x square plus 4 zeros plus 2 into 100. 2 into 16 is 32. You can write 32 and 2 zeros x. That is equal to 20 square is 400. And this square root will go out. So here you will get in bracket 16 plus x square plus 8x plus y square plus z square. Now solve this. What you will get? Here you will get 256 x square plus 3200x plus four zeros and four into 16 is what 64 bring this to left side minus 64 and two zeros plus plus x square that is 400 x square it will become a minus 400 x square 
here it is 8 into 4 is 32 and it is plus it will become a minus 32 0 0 h and here it is plus it will become a minus 400 y square again minus 400 z square that gives you 0 now. Now you solve this what you will get. You can see here x is here, sorry, x square is here, x square is here. So if you solve this, what you will get? 256 minus 400 x square. That is equal to minus 4, 9, minus 5 is again 4, 3 minus 1, 144 x square. This over, now go for x. So you can see this and this gone. Here it is. This, this and minus 400 y square is not there. We will write minus 400 y square minus 400 z square. Remaining is with your values. That is your these two values. Just minus it. What you will get? Plus 0, 0, 6, and 9 minus 6 is 3. 3, 6, 0, 0. That is equal to 0 now. Can we divide it by any number? 4. You can divide it by 4. What you will get? Or first change the sign of this. We will get and at the same time divide it by 4, not 4, minus 4. We will divide it by minus 4. What we will get? Here you will get 2, 3, 36. 36 x square. This is minus, it will become a plus 100 y square. Here again, same plus 100 y z square. And this is plus 900. That gives you 0. This is plus, sorry, it will become a minus. There. If you see this also, it is divisible by 4. Again, it is divisible by 4. So, what you will get? We will get this as a 9x square plus 25y square plus 25z square minus now. So, this is 2 times is 9. 1, 0. 1, 0 means again 2 times then 5. That gives you 0. Now it is not going. So this is your answer for this equation.